Okay, where are we? What are we doing? Well, we're still on my Linux desktop. Um, this is Steam, as I've shown you before. I've been trying to get the Windows version of Steam to run. Two couple possible ways of doing this. One was with um, VirtualBox. And although I got Steam to install, VirtualBox video, I mean, the maximum video RAM is 128 megabytes. Good God, that's tiny. And the 3D, it, it basically doesn't have the shaders necessary to run the games I want. Yes, I got Windows installed. Yes, Windows runs. Yes, Steam's installed on, the the Windows version of Steam is installed on Windows within this. Um, but does it play games? No, it doesn't play games. Not well, not the games I want to play. Now, you know the game I want to play. The game I want to play is DayZ. So, the other way of doing it... Now, has it actually closed? No, Plumman hasn't. Uh, exit Steam. Okay, I don't want more than one instance of Steam running. So, if I come along here to... Uh, bomb Games Play on Linux. This is... Well, play on... Hang on, start from the beginning. Wine is a compatibility layer that allows you to run some, but not all, Windows programs on Linux. Play on Linux is a tool that helps you do that more easily. I use Play on Linux to install Steam. This is going to be a little slow and boring, but here we go. This is the Windows version of Steam starting up on my Linux desktop and there is this. Steam, please stop trying to sell me things. I own over 200 games. Hell, I've got 80 games on Linux. Don't need any more games. Go away. So, if we have a look at DayZ, is of, of all the games I, I've got, this is the only one I've downloaded and the only one I've installed. It downloaded fine, it installed fine, and it starts sort of it's going to take a little while. It takes a little while, and the Windows as well. <coughs> Come in. Starty, starty. Bohemia Interactive. Daisy. Yay. Gets this far. Gets a bit further than this as well, actually. Has a little bit of a think. Thinky, thinky. Come on. I'll be honest, it's it's quite slow in Windows as well from my memory. And well, you, if you Daisy player, you're used to that. And we get our warning about early access, and do I understand? And yes, I do. And mm, the 3D graphics are there. Those that's 3D graphics. I get this funny flashing. Certain things I've figured out. If I attempt down here in the bottom uh, right-hand side of the screen to change the name, uh, she crashes. Straight up, she just crashes. Uh, if I have a look at my settings, I have the, I have 3D resolution set at 100. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Textures, normal. Antistropic filtering disabled. 2, two gig is as large a video memory as the game can handle. Normal, normal, normal. I don't know why that always reverts to high. It always does. I've tried to change. It won't change back. And rendering, I have most of it disabled. So, if we close that, one thing I've noticed is I can hear the sound. There is. I've got an issue with my um, uh, screen capture that it's not at the moment picking up the sound from the game. I'll figure that out at a later date, but at the moment I can hear the ocean in the background. So if we go and have a look at the server list, and we come along here, I, I don't get a great deal further than this. Let's choose one that's daytime and has a few players on it. Not too many, hey? Reasonable ping. And we attempt to join, and it's a finger cross and there she goes. Wine has thrown up a product, a uh, program error. We're back. Discovered that when that, when I come out of that program error, it manages to stop my screen recorder or my screen capture. 
turn that back on. So what was I what was I saying? Completely lost my train of thought, having spent a couple of minutes trying to figure out what the heck happened then. Um, yeah, the game under wine. It installs. It sort of runs. Sort of menu works. Join a server. Crash. Attempt to, lots of little things go wrong. Attempt to um, uh, change my name, and it'll lock up, and it'll take Steam with it. So, if out there there are any Linux stroke Wine gaming gurus who can give me tips and hints, I'd love to have your input, guys. Really would. Um, so, thank you very much for watching little short video just to give you an update of, of, of how far I'm getting in my project to see if I can get Daisy to run on Linux. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you lovely ladies and gentlemen later. Bye bye.